Alright, so today I was hoping they will be posting something about it and they in fact have the announcement for a new LR coming up in two days. I actually talked about this, uh, was it yesterday I posted? No, two days ago on this video. How, you know, we are probably going to be getting an LR in the upcoming week because we were supposed to get one this week, but I guess... I don't know, they just dropped a patch of nothing, <laughs> pretty much. I guess I was just spread it, which is whatever, but... Get a new LR, and I was theorizing, or at, least, at the very least hoping, it was going to be DN. Because I was like, ah, I think King King or DN would be... Or Bond, King or DN would be like the prime suspects for it. But, you know, who knows. But I was kind of hoping it would be DN. Because Dian is a character that has been off meta for a while now. Uh, apart from Queen Dian, of course. But I was mainly hoping for the small Dians. <clears throat> but in any case, this teaser is very interesting. It's just a feather, right? And this could mean so many things. I'm going to be looking over. So I think that the Japanese... Uh, Google Translate is going to be working better on Chrome. I'm going to be right back. I usually use Opera now because I find it should be a better browser, but their their built-in translation is non-existent. So the, the plugins you use are garbage. But in any case, I think so majority of people are talking about it being a goddess. So Sauriel Ludociel, you know the the feathers, right? But feathers could really mean so much. If you look at last time they teased a festival, they had uh, a pillow that, you know, looked like it would be King's Pillow, right? And we're like, okay, it's going to be LR King. But in fact, it was LR Liz because of the crown that was on top of it. It's like a princess. A feather can be winged king. It, it, he has wings, because if, just because it's a feather doesn't mean it's an actual feather feather. You know what I mean? Like, it, it could just represent wings. With how they did it last time, I am not so sure it will be a goddess. But if I was to just be very literal with it, I think Red Sario would be my pick. Mainly because I think he is the most iconic old uh, Archangel that we have in the game. As in Red Sariel, when he came out, he was so good. And he remained so good for a while. He's like terrific in PvP and PvE for a long time. I think that if I was to pick any uh, Archangel to become a, fast, a LR, it would be Red Sariel. Now, see, the other ones, I think, you know, Tarmiel... Does, does Blue Tarmiel even have... I guess he does have significance as well. Blue Tarmiel... It just doesn't hit the same, you know what I mean? Like, Blue Tarmiel does have some significance, not gonna take it away from him or anything. But I just think the Red Sauriel represents it better than Blue Tarmiel. But, you know, it's not like it makes a, a difference, really. When you look at LR Liz, Red Liz has no significance in this game. At all. This version of Liz has zero significance in this game. Green Liz has significance. Blue Liz even has significance. Red, zero. And they still picked red. So, <laughs> I don't know, man. You know, it could really just be anything. Obviously, they're not going to pick Mael. He's just way too recent. Could it be Ludociao? He also was very, very, you know, represented for a long time. It's just that... I, I feel like they would have to change his unit so much when, you know, Red Sauriel, I mean, obviously they're gonna have to change the units a lot anyways, but I feel like Red Sauriel, out of the Archangels, would be the one that, you know, that you just go through his passive, right? He already has the built-in basic stat increaser. They could just expand on that, make his stats super high, and then make the basic stats even higher that he's giving, right? I don't know. Would they want to give an LR to a character that has a grace? Who knows, right? But I'm still not so convinced that we should, you know, leave out King off the table. 
mainly because, like, like I just said, like <laughs> his wings don't look like they have feathers, right? Obviously, because they're they're fairy wings. But I don't I don't think it's that literal. You know what I mean? I think that they uh, they kind of throw you off with that teaser, just like they did with Liz. You could tell me, oh yeah, the crown, of course, of course, but that's that's hindsight. Like the <laughs> everyone's thinking king because of the pillow. So I think there's still a chance for a king festival. But if I want to be too literal, yeah, the archangels are the better odds. Red Sauriel, Blue Tarmiel, and Blue Luciel are you know the the people that are gonna everyone's gonna be thinking about. But if you look at you know Liz and how it was Red Liz. There is nothing stopping them from making green Sauriel DLR. Or even Red Tarmiel, although Red Tarmiel, no, please no. <laughs> please no. Please no. Red Tarmiel as a link is already is already like a troublesome to this day. There's no need to enhance it further, right? I think Green Sauriel is a character that is still kind of relevant in, in some like PV activities here and there. I would love for him to become meta relevant in PvP because I do love counters. Although we have just come off of a counter meta with with um, the unknown team recently, it's whatever you know. Just make it again. I don't care. But with him as well, he's already giving you know the crit damage to archangels. You can just expand this in much further because you know if you look at any of the LR passes, like they keep. The passive that's already in there, and then they just add stuff. I guess for the Lucille would be the same thing, right? I was thinking they would have to change, because... I, I just don't think that they would have this passive and enhance further. Because if if he has this passive of lowering the defense rate of stats by 40%, and then he gets more, I think that that's too much. Like, you look at him, and he he's going to be the high XCC character in the game if he gets an LR. Because he has a relic that gives him basic stats. If he's gonna have the highest CC in the game. He's gonna out CC everybody. So his passive is gonna be 100% on <laughs> at all times. If he gets further stuff on his passive, he would just be way too strong. And it would trivialize the game. Pretty much. His debuff is good. I don't think I don't think Lucia would get an LR. I, I think he would be way too way too strong for the game if you got an LR. You have to, I think you have to look at a character that is unusable, right? Because you look at the other LRs, and I've, I mean, looking at the past, with LRs, seems to be useless, because every LR has been a surprise. Like, Lost Vein, obviously, was the first one, so... But Green Ascador was kind of a surprise. It, we were thinking festivals, it was not a festival, it was Green Ascador. Then Liz, was like, completely random as well, and Red Liz at that, it's just kind of random what and why someone becomes an LR. So, you know, looking at it and being like, oh yeah, this and this, it's kind of useless for my part. But I do think, you know, some of these characters, if they enhance them too much, it would just become problematic. Uh, so I don't think Luciel would be the pick. So my my goal here, or my go-to here, sorry, is Sauriel. I think Sauriel is an XLR based entirely on the feather and the fact that I hope it is Sauriel. Either of the Sauriels. In any case, I don't think that... I don't think that the age matters. Because, you know, Red Liz is actually a pretty old character as well. She released in December of 2019. But the other ones were older. So I don't think that the age of the character actually matters. I think what matters is nothing. I think nothing matters. <laughs> Uh, so, my pick is Sauriel, and my off pick is King. I still think King could be a could be a, a freaking option. I know, you know, the wing is different, but I still think he could be an option, so let me know what you think.